my name is Mitchell Felder, MD. I'll be presenting a scientific roadmap to cure cancer by Premier Biomedical, Inc. I'm chairman of the Scientific Advisory Board of Premier Biomedical, Inc. I'm a diplomate of the American Academy of Neurology. I'm an attending neurologist, and I have been granted 19 U.S. patents. The names of these two patents are Sequential Extracorporeal Treatment of Bodily Fluids, granted December 22, 2015, and Utilization of Stents for the Treatment of Blood-Borne Carcinomas. The basis of the Premier Biomedical Methodology to Cure Cancer is the Felder Doctrine. The Felder Doctrine is physically removed the pathophysiologic basis of the disease. What does that mean? Pathophysiology is two words, pathology and physiology mush together. A surgical oncologist removes pathology, ergo, cancer tissue from the body. That's what he does all day long. What here we're concentrating on here is the physiology. Those what I call targeted antigens, which allow cancer to grow, to metastasize, and to proliferate. Premier Biomedical Inc., in conjunction with the University of Texas at El Paso, did a proof of concept study in which they showed the ability to have immunodepletion of interleukin-2 but not interleukin-4 from a biological media, showing that one can physically remove a specific targeted antigen, in this case interleukin-2, but allow interleukin-4, which of course has a very similar molecular composition and structure to interleukin-2, to remain at the exact same picogram per ml concentration. Here I would like to reference the diagram from the patent Utilization of Stents for the Treatment of Blood-Borne Carcinomas to show how we at Premier Biomedical Inc. believe the Felder Doctrine may be implemented. I would like to now iterate from the granted patents and pending intellectual property applications, targeted cancer antigens for the physical removal, which we believe would cure cancer. There's five categories. One, cancer antigens involved in causing or facilitating tumorigenesis. Two, cancer antigens involved in facilitating angiogenesis, three, antigens which are specific to our particular cancer subtype, four, antigens which decrease chemotherapeutic or drug efficacy treatment, and five, the category I consider the most exciting, the treatment of cancer by manipulating the immune system via the control of the exact concentration of immunomodulatory target antigens. In the first category of targeted cancer antigens for physical removal, cancer antigens involved in causing or facilitating tumorigenesis, a good example is tumor growth factor, also known as transforming growth factor. From this medical article, we could see Tumor growth factor alpha is upregulated in some human cancers. Tumor growth factor beta exists in three known subtypes in humans. These are upregulated in some human cancers. Therefore, again, inserting the Felder doctrine physically removed the pathophysiologic basis of the disease, in this case, tumor growth factor remove it, remove tumor growth factor to a concentration, picograms per microliter, that would checkmate, which would stop the cancer growth 
is what one would attempt to do here. This, of course, is a simplification of the methodology, but one could target multiple target antigens involved in the facilitation of tumorigenesis at the same time, simultaneously. So one would target for removal not only tumor growth factor alpha and beta, but other target antigens such as IGF-1, IGF-2, FGF, NGF, and PDGF. This is a simplification of the method, but you certainly get the idea. Going on to the next category, which is cancer antigens involved in facilitating angiogenesis. We look at the medical article, significance of vascular endothelial growth factor in growth and peritoneal dissemination of ovarian cancer. VEGF has also been implicated in the pathogenesis of ovarian cancer, essentially by promoting two more angiogenesis and enhancing vascular permeability. VEGF contributes to the development of peritoneal carcinomatosis associated with malignant ascites formation, the characteristic feature of advanced ovarian cancer at diagnosis. Again, plug in the Felder Doctrine. Physically remove VEGF. Remove it at a concentration, picograms per ml, in which the process of angiogenesis has stopped, has been checkmated. Next category. Antigens which are specific to a particular cancer subtype. Here we have the example, and there are many examples, but I'll, I'll use KIF-18A. K, and we use this medical article from Carcinogenesis, September 2010. The title being KIF-18A is involved in human breast carcinogenesis. Our results indicate that KIF-18A is involved in human breast carcinogenesis and may serve as a potential therapeutic target for human breast cancer. Therefore, again, plug in the Felder Doctrine, physically remove the pathophysiologic basis of this disease, one of which is KIF-18A, is part of the physiologic process. We would physically remove it. The fourth category is antigens which decrease chemotherapeutic or drug efficacy treatment. An example of this would be chemotherapy resistance induced by interleukin-6 in ovarian cancer cells and its signal transduction pathways. Under results, it was written, we found that both exogenous and endogenous IL-6 induce cisplatin and paclitaxel resistance. And under conclusions, they write, modulation of IL-6 expression or its related signaling pathway may be a promising strategy of treatment for drug-resistant ovarian cancer. Therefore, we would remove IL-6 in the exact picogram per ml concentration, which would maximize chemotherapeutic treatment of the cancer. The fifth category of targeted cancer antigens for physical removal is the category that I consider the most exciting, namely the treatment of cancer by manipulating the immune system via the control of the exact concentration of immunomodulatory target antigens. The example of this is the BBA Review on Cancer from December 2013, CTLA-4 blockade, and the Renaissance of Cancer Immunotherapy. Under abstract, they wrote, cytotoxic T-lymphocyte-associated antigen 4, CTLA-4, plays a key role in restraining the adaptive immune responses of T cells towards a variety of antigens, including tumor-associated antigens, TAAs. The blockade of this immune checkpoint elicits 
an effective anti-cancer, immune response, and a range of preclinical models suggesting that naturally occurring TAA-specific lymphocytes need to be unleashed in order to properly fight against malignant cells. We'll be showing an experiment performed by Premier Biomedical Inc. in conjunction with the University of Texas at El Paso, in which there was the blockade of CTLA-4. As you can see, we achieved truly spectacular results in which the PBI treatment of cancer immunotherapy eradicated the breast cancer. As you can see, chemotherapy failed miserably, as obviously did the control. Now, it should be pointed out that this is only approximately 10 to 15 percent of what we would be trying to achieve under the Felder Doctrine. Under the Felder Doctrine, we would further refine this method in order to decrease the CTLA-4 to an exact picogram per ml concentration, which would hold at a steady state. And this could then eliminate the breast cancer without any concomitant side effects of any kind. On December 5, 2013, Premier Biomedical Inc. released a press release that confirmatory testing affirms prevention of metastasis in Premier Biomedical candidate therapy for breast cancer. Those on the regimen had a distinctively higher survival rate, smaller tumor volume, and maintained weight. Most significant was the fact that no mouse treated with Premier Biomedical's treatment regimen developed metastatic disease. Subsequently, there was a presentation by UTEP that showed the evaluation of CTLA-4 block blockage with metronomic chemotherapy for the treatment of preclinical breast cancer. And it showed pictures of these mice and what tremendous results were achieved. Now, it must be kept in mind that this is only 10 to 15 percent of the Felder Doctrine. This is simply blockading CTLA-4. What the Felder Doctrine would advocate is physically removing CTLA-4 at the exact right concentration that would beat the cancer and yet cause absolutely no morbidity, no side effects of any kind. I like to call this God's method of treating cancer. Every oncologist has seen cases that just don't make sense. The one in 10,000 patient that miraculously survives stage four cancer that for all intents and purposes should have died and yet lives gets better and lives the rest of their life. I myself saw a case of glioblastoma multiforme of a patient I wouldn't think could last one hour, ended up walking out of the hospital and living another seven years. Why is that? And why do I call it God's method of curing cancer? Because I believe there is an exact level of CTLA-4, PD-1, BTLA, and these other target antigens for removal against cancer that when modulated to an exact picogram per ml quantity eradicate the cancer but don't cause any side effects such as pituitary dysfunction, colitis, etc. It must be recognized that when one uses an anti-CTLA-4 antibody and in, intravenously, one is getting a high concentration, it then goes down because of the half-life, the metabolism, shoots up again when it's re-injected, shoots down again when it's metabolized, etc. What is needed is an exact number of a picograms per ml quantity that will exactly work to eradicate the cancer. This may be 0 0.00372 picogram per ml. I'm making this up, but there is a number, and there is a number for each patient, and that can be ascertained. We believe also at Premier Biomedical 
that the picogram per ml concentration could be achieved in real time, thereby tailor, tailoring an exact therapeutic modality for each patient. And imagine if you're combining this against a multiplicity of target antigens, against VEGF, MUC4, uh, various interleukins, side, various cytokines. One is, in, in, one is completely checkmating the process. We also believe that this methodology is very useful against a multiplicity of diseases, against muscular dystrophy, atherosclerosis, cocaine syndrome. I believe it could even possibly be used to slow the aging process. For the treatment of the other diseases, one is simply substituting other important target antigens rather than the target antigens that we presented here against cancer. I would also like to add our belief at Premier Biomedical Inc. that this methodology, the Felder Doctrine, can be integrated to be complementary to chemotherapy, radiation therapy, genetic manipulation, etc., to make those methods much more efficacious. Finally, I'd like to dedicate this talk to Steve Jobs and the cell phone. The cell phone, when I was a child, seems like a device that's completely science fiction that one could talk to anyone on planet Earth, one could look at videos, one could do messaging, and a myriad of applications. If one could do this miraculous technological innovation, one certainly can remove a specific target antigen from blood and keep the remaining blood products and concentrations at the same level. Thank you. Thank you for your attention. Please review the patents, and please review the Premier Biomedical Inc. website, and please subscribe to our channel. Thank you.